Oh, shit. That's one of the best tracks of the year. I've got to say the same shit, bro. <laughs> That was ridiculous. <laughs> when when was the last time we heard Kanye like this before? Oh my god! There's some bars on this track. Oh, I'm shook, bro. I'm emotional, bro. I'm fucking shook. What? Yeah, the way he was delivering those lines, man, they hit me in my fucking bones. Dude, I saw tears in your eyes. Like that's music. Oh. Like that's fucking music. That sounded. Ex Hello there. The twelve rules of life. Who's a bye? Uh, Jordan B. Peterson. Mm. The first rule of life is fuck bitches. <laughs> the second rule of life. Let me guess. Is fuck more bitches. The third rule of life is get these hoes. The fourth roll of life. Oh damn, he going through all twelve. Is get that money. Oh shit. Mm. That was about to happen. The fifth roll of life. It's fuck them hoes again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the thick roll. Now fuck this shit. <laughs> oh, fuck it. Shit, bro, you were going in. <laughs> I was gonna. I was gonna go all twelve. If you want all twelve, that's that's Patreon. We'll, we'll do that. For no, you. all twelve. You just gotta go on my personal channel. I'm reviewing these actual um these rules. We don't suffer enough. That's what that's trying to say. We, we don't suffer and get uncomfortable enough. The sixth... Hold on, hold on, hold on. We jungle beats. My uh, name... Your name. Oh, this is awkward. I was going to tell him we Australia's plug... Shit. ...to the cringest intros Fuck. in the country. Shit. We review and react to music from all around the world. Fuck. I'm Alexander Sandalis. I'm um, shit. Fuck. I'm sorry, mum. <laughs> that's me, name. Eh? Sheesh. And swear against me game. Now, Fuck him. Kanye West, Kid Cudi come together to make a project that has some of the most beautiful artwork I've seen of recent. Yep, same uh, artist who did the graduation cover. Mm. Uh, amazing artist. I fuck with it. My only problem is that I want the shirt to be like continued on from the art. But I understand, as you said, that it's hard to do. But if you're Kanye, I think it'd be a dope idea. Well, let's call Kanye later and tell him. I mean, I will. I'll get his number in the back, man. But um, I'm really excited. Um, Kid Cudi is my favorite artist. Uh, I got a little love for Kanye. I like him more as a producer and rapper, but I still fuck with his sound heavily. And I, I, I consider 808s and Heartbreak a Kid Cudi and Kanye West album. Because Kid Cudi had a huge influence throughout the album, which you'll hear in writing, production as well. So obviously it's more Kanye, but that's just how I see it. So, But to get them together again for this seven seven track album, I'm, I'm very excited. Yeah, this is great. This collab album, like I'm excited for this. We don't often see this happen. Mm. Um, this, this should be something special, man. Seven tracks, Kids See Ghosts. Yeah. I don't um, touch anything else. If you have watched our Yay review, Sandy fucked with it. Yeet! I didn't fuck with it too much. Uh, we fucked with Pusha T, but now we're up to here and let's just fucking go. We're, we're in the, this is the third one. Yeah. We hyped as fuck. Let's go. Feel the love. Absolutely fucking dope. That's so fucking dope. Honestly. <laughs> That's <laughs> no, played Earth Gang, bro. 
Yo, which song? I fuck with Earth Friday. Gang. Yeah, I fuck with Earth Gang. Yo, Earth Gang, what up? Um, there's not a single part of that song I did not like. I love the production. I love the progression of it as well. And the min- like the pacing of it was fantastic. Yeah, the minimal slight synths with Pusha T doing his thing. Pusha T was Wasn't amazing. Wasn't great how they minimalist beat and they brought oh. Pusha on it? Because Pusha shines the best on minimal beats because of the way that he delivers his as bars. We know. Oh, when you know, you know. And Kid Cudi's hook was was gorgeous. Oh, you know, I compare it to I compare it to Ghost Town, and it's like, man, you we could have had that type of delivery on Ghost Town instead of this exactly instead of this really rough cut. But some people like that roughness. Yo. Yeah, but then people were just like, yo, the reason he was saying off tune was to the display the pain. It's like, yo, you can display that shit with an on tune, no, motherfuckers. But anyway, our yay review if you want to watch it. But, um, nah, Kid Cudi was amazing. If that was Kid Cudi doing that, I think that was Kanye, man. It's, gotta be, it's gotta be Kanye. Oh, that was beautiful. What do you call that? I don't know, but it was artistic as fuck. I fuck with that. And then the way that it switched up towards the end. Yeah. Where the beat, and then Kid Cudi just just left the thing, like, just finish the fucking thing, man. <laughs> finish the thing. Yo, I fuck with that. Finish the scratch. Keep that shit coming. That was fire. Keep that shit coming. Wait, is this called fire? Ha! <laughs> 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 a very funny one. Put Oh. Oh, dang. This pain I couldn't see to find a way. On the mission, let me carry on. Got my family, I'm seeing three by the days. Never late. Pull up a scene and grab a place. I'm just gonna find. Tambourine? Look yeah. Out. Tambourine with like people stomping and clapping as well. Heaven lift me up. That's got to lead into the next track. Yeah, I was going to say, because if they don't lead into the next track, then they ain't needed. But other than that, it's dope. Heaven, a great delivery by Kid Cudi. Oh. I don't really feel Kanye is that prominent yet on this album. Um, well, he produced the thing though. Oh, of course. My bad. My, of course, of course, of course. <laughs> yeah, that's. It's, I mean, lyrically. I mean, lyrically. Yeah, yeah I feel. I feel. Uh, but, I, uh, I don't got no problems with that track either, man. Yo, um, Cuddy sounded very, like, very indicab like. If you listen to the way <clears> that it was, I like, hear that low, grovelly, like, kind of hard to understand sort of flow. That's yeah. very, that's very indicab, okay. very satellite flight sort of ish. Hmm. So, um, he's going that sort of style. I love the beat. I love the way that the the tambourine, like, so the tambourine, and the fucking stomping carries it, and the. The, I don't know if it was like a, a violin or a flute that was in the back there at the start that sort of carried in towards the mid. Uh, beat was beautiful. It was just one of those ones. I, I was nodding my head the whole way through. It was a really fun track. Kid Cudi's vocals were and beautiful. And what kept it from not being repetitive was the <clears throat> change up and the lyrical diversity, the change up in the delivery of Kid Cudi and the hook and, and the pacing lyrically is what kept it interesting and engaging. Mm. Did you hear anything? Because I, I, I unfortunately didn't pay too much attention. I was, Usually I do, but I not was, that time. I was too caught up in everything else going on. Uh, Only heaven lift me up was the hook. Yeah. But um, I want to see if this outro goes into something else now because otherwise, that shit weird. This is the fourth dimension. Oh, man. Can't let it keep playing. So it doesn't. No transition. I mean, this is dope. This is gonna be another ghost town. This is like a fallout. It reminds me of a fallout. I fuck with these samples though. Where are they from? Like old, old classic. What are they? This is like 50s. Man. Dream World War One. Oh shit! Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, she said I'm in the wrong hole, I said I'm lost. I said I'm the wrong hole, I said I'm lost. I said I'm the wrong I I I want to hear those lines though. Oh. Do you know about as like the wrong hole? Before? I didn't hear that one. I didn't hear the alligator one. Yeah, the alligator was. Oh. It feels so good as your cost. Brought an alligator that ain't talking Lacoste. Oh. He said I'm in the wrong hole. I said I'm lost. I said I'm in the wrong hole. I said I'm lost. 
said I'm in the wrong hole. I said I'm lost. <laughs> she said I'm going oh. too fast. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, I like got a bit of piece of Oh my god! There's some bars on this track! Shit! Holy yeah. That's one of the best tracks of the year. I've got to say the same shit, bro. That was ridiculous. We just found an important point that we wanted to add. And that's listening back to Fourth Dimension. This is the 2018 version of Jesus Walks. Mm -hmm. Very, very similar choir in the background. We just picked it up then. Sorry to pick up. We just want to add that in now. Just so you can... Those drums. Ugh. And Kit Cuddy was on his Man on the Moon 2 flow there. It's weird. We're getting some different vibes. Yeah, before time. he had his Indicat flow, but there he was more clearer. And the way that he wrote that beat was very similar to something like, like Aston Kutcher. Or Ashton Kutcher, like fucking, fucking, bruh. That was like some Man on the Moon 2 type shit there. And fucking Kanye starting that shit off That's with the lines. But the alligator ain't lacrosse. The cost. The cost. Is that the brand with the, the alligator on it? Yeah, yeah, yeah I thought that one. And the moment goes um, oh into the wrong hole, but, you, but I'm lost. Can I give you some? Yeah, yeah, give me some. Give yeah. me some. Bought an alligator, I ain't talking the cost. Made me say, oh, uh, uh, like a mix of Mr. P and Rick Ross. Oh, uh. all right. Then you have the boss line next. She Thank seemed God. to make me always feel like I'm a boss. She said, I'm in the wrong hole. I said, I'm lost. <laughs> I, I like the kind of I there. like the drop your knees for the offering. Talking about yeah, that's I like that. Like and the way that he ends it as well is real dope. Uh, if I if I get locked up, I'm gonna finish the scent. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because the Jeez. sentence do would be mocked up, but then also the actual sentence. Is God, like, this bruh. is silly. This is so bruh. good. And the beat, the way the production. This is what Ghost Town could have been, in my opinion. This is this is what I mean. I'm sorry about TA, but like you know, Ghost Town it starts off with that piano and the old sample. And it goes into it with the organ. Uh, this is what Ghost Town could have been. Because you know, you know Ghost Town had that switch up with Shakes, which I didn't fuck with. Yeah. Imagine if that switch up wasn't there. Imagine yeah, if Cuddy, no, imagine if Cuddy's singing was on point, and it, and it had still had that sample throughout the song. That's why. That's what I think Ghost Town should have been like. So this is samples Louis Primer's "What Will Santa Claus oh, Say." Louis Primer. I'm not familiar, but oh, um, he has like I've listened to videos of here. Doesn't one where he goes. It's got like a lot of cool. Oh, the sample "Someday" by Shirley Ann Lee, which also appears at the end of the song "Ghost Town," on Yay. So they're using similar samples. That was an incredible song. We've never stopped a track halfway to play it again from the start. That just tells you how much we liked yeah, it. Yeah, that shit was that shit was absolutely amazing. That fucking I'm gonna be playing that motherfucking track <sighs> again, again, again. The sample. Oh my uh, god. And Cuddy and just. Cuddy, Kanye though, Cuddy Kanye and Kanye, really bro. Did so well. Dude, back and forth. Oh, I'm shook, bro. I'm emotional, bro. I'm fucking shook, bro. I'm real. It's real though. I'm not. This is this is. I've, Jesus. That was just amazing, man. <sighs> Free Ghost Town Part Two. Are you serious? It's um, called Ghost Town Part Two. I'm deadly serious. Yo, this shit better not be like Ghost Town. It better be like the first half of Ghost Town. Alright, here we go. Oh. Is that party or Ty Dollar now again? It is. It is my oh. Beautiful. Yeah! Oh, finally. Oh, yeah, finally. That's sick. Oh. That's, uh... Oh, oh, oh. Russia's crazy on this. 
Oh, uh, Jesus. Oh, damn, bro. Kanye, you fucking outdid yourself, Ooh. brother. That production was sick. Ooh. And also, you know how Kanye, on his last record, people saying that he sounded like a different Kanye on each sort of track? Same thing with Cuddy here. Cuddy sounds like something. He is. We're getting a different. Yeah, Boom. he sounds like either Wizard or uh, or Speeding Bullet to Heaven. I know a lot of people didn't like the album, but the way that he uses vocals that were a bit more over the top, mm. a lot of lower groans, mm. and also the rock influence, mm. you get that here. So we're hearing different types of Cuddy on these tracks as well. But it works, bro. It works so fucking well. The, and the, the highlight of this track is the production. I mean, Kanye singing is on point. Ty Dolla's feature is really oh, beautiful. They really synchronize well together. Yeah. Ty Dolla needs more recognition. I know his solo work doesn't do as good as his features, but his features have just been on fucking point. It goes well with Kanye oh, and, and just, Cardi. And just the, the background vocals that we're hearing. And even when Ty Dolla stopped singing in the middle and the beat came back, and you can hear, like you said, you hear the violin, they heard like the like guitar there. Like, I want to the... point out though as well, I don't know, it's, it's hard to pick up. When they, mm. one of the times they yelled out free, you heard sirens, subtle sirens in the background, that. right? That's, that's On really one of them. And that, I mean, what does that tell? That tells a fucking story in itself. I They're trying agree. to be free. Yeah. Fucking sirens. What are Always. sirens associated with? The opposite of freedom. Opposite of freedom. So, fuck, I love that little, little fucking insertion. I wonder, I wonder if there are any other little Easter eggs like that in there. Mm, bit of Easter egg, huh? Yeah, that is I'm, I'm gonna go for a fucking hunt, man. Um, I'm find all these motherfuckers. Shit, well, that's clearly better than Ghost Town Part One. Uh, yeah, Ghost Town Part One. It was. Let's not. Let's not. Yeah. Let's not fucking start a war. We've already started a war in the other comment section. Man, these four tracks are already. Fuck, man. The first track itself was better than all of Yay. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yikes and uh, all mine are fucking dope tracks. Uh, I'm loving this shit so far. Let's keep it rolling. This shit's four for four. Phew, that's scary. Reborn. Sounds like straight from down the moon type shit, right? It's like a nursery rhyme to me. <laughs> That's the first one we've heard in the album so far. <laughs> <laughs> like the pursuit of happiness. It is too, like the keys. I should fit some little bit, roll it up, take a yeah. hit. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Everybody give you test me out. Y'all done fucked me up. I haven't heard Kanye that good on, on a track in a long time, man. Can I tell you? When I heard that, the way he was delivering those lines, man, they hit me in my fucking bones. Dude, I saw tears in your eyes. R R he was fucking... I was getting emotional. Like, I'm getting the college dropout vibes, bro. Exactly. It I'd fucking shivers me low, up. I had shivers low in my body, man. <sighs> like, that's music. Oh. Like, that's fucking music. That sounded exactly like Pursuit of Happiness as well, like from the, from the piano wise. So that could that could even be a Pursuit of Happiness part too. Those keys, very similar to Pursuit of Happiness. And it's weird again, once again, Cut is doing Man the Moon 1. Very sort of feel. So every sort of track we've heard is a different kid Cuddy. I wonder if Cuddy intended that. Or if Cuddy intended that. Who knows? Oh, production's beautiful. I love the outro, the way that smooths in. Cuddy did this thing, but the highlight of this track for me is definitely Kanye. And it's... You know, you want more, but it's like, it's nah. just so short enough where it's just enough. It's the right amount The to way me. he delivered that was exceptional. Oh. Were you getting vibes from just old, oh. classic Kanye? Yeah, man. 
I, I've never heard him like that's that like since Jesus then. Walks, that's like Jesus walks hungry, Kanye, man. He was hungry as I fuck, couldn't. Man. I couldn't even believe it. I'm like, what am I hearing? Is this 2018? Yeah. I was the same, man. I was just like, when, when was the last time we heard Kanye like this before? Like, where the, how did he pull that? Where did he pull that from? I'm the same, man. Like, I, emotion was just like, fueled that whole song. I was just feeling it, man. Like, we haven't even been talking about the lyrics much throughout this whole album because of the overall feeling of this album. Like, I can't even pick shit up, man, just because I'm feeling it. Fuck. That was an amazing track. I'm so fucked up, man. Jesus. That was an amazing track. Uh, the the the, the t fucking the title track, Kids See Ghosts. Yasin Bay, most deaf. Who? It's most deaf. That's most deaf. Yasin Bay. It's gonna sound like him. You get that ghost feeling with the. You get that? It took me long enough to rap on it, strong enough. Hey, this shit just don't give up. The change just don't live up to everything that sucks. Do you would not stand by enough? Gotta be clever enough to give up while I'm ahead. I'm gonna be in question it. Don't let me in less than any of your competition and any of my profession. So I gotta guess then I gotta stay the best man. All this respect from uh, Mr. West End. I always thought you make it, but damn, now you had a no. That's what just the top is that I can't embellish on. <laughs> what a hypnotic track. Haunting. Yeah. Haunting, bro. Fitting the guitar too, like Kids See Ghost, you can hear like the slight <clears throat> in the background, very similar like say, uh, like the Violet Town, sort of if you play Pokemon, where, where all the all the cemetery is, like that sort of background, it had that sort of ghost feeling to it. That eerie feeling. Yeah. And um, yeah, Mo's Death whew, makes his appearance. I did not expect Mo's Death on there. Uh, and also, oh sorry, you go. If you no, want. I just think he fitted well. Yeah. I, I also got vibes of like the frequency from Kid Cudi on Passion, Pain, Demon Slaying and also slight... Uh, towards the end of Indica in a way as well. So once again, different vibes from Kid Cudi. I, I feel like this is definitely intended to display what he's done over the years and like through his music. I, I actually, I, I can't, I don't think Kanye produced that. That didn't sound like something Kanye would produce. I'm, I'm pretty certain that uh, this album isn't solely produced by Kanye because every track I've been hearing- Mike I'm, Dean has done a, a large part of it. Plain Pat. There you go. Cause that, I was gonna say- Andrew cause, Dawson. Because Plain Pat does more stuff with um, Kid Cudi. That sounded more like something that Kid Cudi would have. So, so, so yeah, yeah. After hearing a lot of these tracks on this album, it's like, it doesn't sound like Kanye's had a 100% of hand in it. So, but he's definitely doing, his verse was dope on that. His verse was great as well. I almost feel like a different album vibe. Mm. Um, quite introspective, talking about the pressures of fame, money, um, success. Mm. Great verse, once again. Like, really great. Really enjoyed it. Oh, and just the overall feeling. This is the one track where I just really fucking, just completely zoned out. Just lost in the fucking, just the... Dump. The Sonics. Dump, 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 yeah. dump. It just had that tribal feel into it, man. The music. It's just like look, it's like I was staring into a fire and I couldn't look away. Hmm. I think that's what one reason why he might have the campfires around. True. Didn't even think that. Last track, Cuddy Montage. Be months. Ten minutes of motors, Cuddy. Oh. Ah. Perfect.
Shit. Fuck. Before we get into the album, I'll talk about this track yeah. while Sandy just copes with reality. Jesus. Uh, a wonderful way to finish. And it's great because it went through a lot of, once again, a lot of the stuff that Kid Cudi is familiar with. It started off with the guitar. We all know he has a huge grunge punk influence. Um, and then it kind of like blends into this more electronically sounding track, which, you know, he has an influence throughout the Man of the Moon series and obviously Patrick Payne and Demon Slayer. And like, so a lot of the influence through Cudi's career is shown on this track. And you can hear the melancholy in his voice. And Kanye's verse, Kanye's verse, all of Kanye's verse in this album are amazing and they're actually I mean I, don't, I know I didn't fuck with Ye much but I've got a lot more appreciation for Ye now because after this, this album it's just like whoa they're two completely different rappers on these projects Ye we're really getting I can see why it's called Ye now we're really getting Kanye mm. whereas here we're getting Kanye West oh think Ooh. about it here oh. all over this album we're getting Kanye West Holy but shit. listen to Ye now and just listen to it I'm just like we're actually it's getting bipolar we're shit. actually getting Kanye I mean I still don't fuck with that album but like I got a lot more appreciation for it now after hearing this one. <sighs> Production was beautiful. Kid Cudi was so soulful. I loved it. And um, even Kanye with some of the singing there, like it, it was dope. Uh, seven out of seven. This, this is a I don't, this, this is a phenomenal album, man, man. Real quick, I just want to talk in that track. That, that track once yeah, again yeah, yeah, yeah. fucked me up. Um, I, I felt something, especially with the chorus. That was my erection. Lord. It's my phone. Fucking. 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 <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, when he did the chorus, Mr. Hudson, Kid Cudi, and Kanye West, oh. Lord shine on your light. So that was Mr. I knew me. that I heard another voice there. Mr. Hudson's low key awesome. So that Lord shine on me, I just I felt shine something there, man. Like dun, dun, dun. The, he he delivered it with such such a humble passion and heart, mm. and soul, and I've really mm. felt that throughout every single verse. You know, everybody want world peace till your knees get shot in the dome piece. Then you go and buy your own piece, piece. hoping to find, find you, your own piece. Find your own piece. Oh yeah. my, just damn. Yeah, man. I saw you like after that line, just be like, what the fuck? Oh. Bring light to what they don't oh. see. Auntie crying on the concrete. Like he's talking about like the people that Kanye, a lot of people think Kanye's detached from a lot of the, the reality of the world around him. And then, like he's clearly depicting it with such a vivid accuracy that really hits home. And yeah, man, I think it's beautiful. Album. I, don't, the, I enjoy this more than Pusha T's Daytona. Oh, fuck. Pusha emotionally, T's, emotionally, yeah. Pusha T's Daytona is a great album. No, no, production-wise... That's tough. And just listening-wise, from a first-listen perspective, I enjoyed it more than Daytona. And also the fact that, you know, I'm a more a Kid Cudi fan than a Pusha fan. Yeah. I mean, look, they're going in different directions What's thematically, conceptually. All these albums have gone in different directions. All these albums, man. Like, uh, this album fucked me up. This album, I don't... I don't see a single problem with... I think this album on first listen is, is near flawless. I don't want to say flawless because you need to listen to it more, but yeah. it's close. I think also calling the last track Cuddy Montage is really smart because we heard elements of throughout his whole career. And even what they were talking about is very similar to what he's been talking about his whole life. Mm. So, very smart name your tracks. And a lot of the display of production throughout this whole album was absolutely crazy, absolutely amazing, and just the vocal display, and the light features. Once again, the light features were on point. None, none of them overstayed their work. Ty Dollar especially was the standout for me. Oh, man. And this wasn't just Kanye and Mike Dean. This was the Dr. Genius on the last track. This yep. is Plain Pat. And Dr. Genius is the one that um, has worked with Kanye West, or sorry, Kid Cudi, most of his career, and also uh, did a lot of stuff to do with Wizard. Big and Sean? Pit, like, pardon? Big Sean? I didn't hear Big Sean on this album. No, no, no. I mean, he's worked with Big Sean in the past. I think so, yeah. But he was also married to uh, Janae Echo, Echo for a while. Oh, yeah. He definitely worked with... But, um, but yeah, man. I don't, Honestly, I don't even have more to say in this. This is, this, I don't need to say more. I've already said my piece on each track. I think this is an absolutely beautiful album. And I'm, I'm looking forward to giving this more and more listens. And, fuck, we might even not revisit this album for another review because I feel like what we've said now might just hold its sway. Yeah, I think it will only see more as we go on I, I haven't even dealt i haven't even dove into the lyrical aspects of this album yet because i'm just so blown away by the by the production overall feel of it i just want to finish off and i i feel like this album has such a 
emotion, uh, such a, a deep, um, vulnerable, uh, emotional sincerity to it. I think I think it 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 touches on uh, a lot of I don't even it's hard to even describe, man. It just touches on a lot of different emotions. You know what I'm getting feels of? Mm. I'm actually getting feels of my beautiful dark twisted fantasy. After production. This. I didn't mention that one of the because yeah. throughout that whole album. The production was just so clean, but switched up a lot. The same thing happened with this album. Obviously, very different, but just the way this album flowed. I think very my beautiful dark twisted fantasy life. I think fourth dimension reminded me the most of it because of its grandeur. Oh, because that was of the its, best song on the album. Because of its, it's hit you in the face. Fourth dimension was the best song on that album. That fucking that <sighs> fucked me up. And then track five, that one was crazy. All the tracks were good. Yeah, overall this album is incredible. I can't wait for for the people to see this, Yo, man, and leave, to hear it, to hear this album. Man, oh. we're, we're excited for you to hear this shit. Leave down below what you thought about this album. Who, I want to know if you don't like it. Like, there's gonna like be some it. people. Exactly, because I didn't like Yay, but like I said, I got more appreciation for it now after hearing this. But so you, y'all fucked me, like, but like here, just tell us, tell us how you thought. Jesus Christ, great and job, Kanye. If you're a Kikuddy or a Kanye Kid fan, Cuddy. you're gonna eat. You're, we're eating. Fuck, man, we fucking. Eden, bro. This and, is this is the year, man. And we got this like another year. four albums next Friday, bro. Oh, they're fucking us up. We going last from album done. J Rock, Nicki. Oh shit, man. Death Grips the next week. Oh shit. I'm just trying <sighs> to recover, bro. I'm gonna play my funeral. We jungle beats. Make sure to subscribe, man. Like, we, we this is just the realest review reaction channel on the planet, bro. Bro, we got a Facebook page too, bro. Don't forget the Instagram, bro. Just can't help myself, bro. Sorry, bro. What are you still doing here, man? Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Out of here. Jesus. Go. Holy shit. <clears throat> some I did. Some I can explain out. I, I can't speak for everybody, but uh, man. It must be more good women than men percentage-wise. So a chance of having a husband just minimized. That's why a lot of girls claim they ain't into guys. And mess with other girls part-time to improvise.